Are you on your way to Marriott's Lakeshore Reserve in Orlando, Florida? And you want to see what a deluxe studio looks like? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you ours right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. Before we head inside here and take a look at our deluxe studio, just to forewarn you, it is an ADA accessible unit. Unit 3402 here in the Messina building. I want to let you know on this channel, I provide my knowledge, tips, and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. And even if you don't own timeshare, but you love visiting fantastic resort properties, I also do village tours, resort tours, and resort reviews as well. So be sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button down below, and also click on that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. So let's head inside here. Just down the short hallway is our deluxe studio. Heading into the villa here, the first thing we're gonna notice is a small shelf with a mirror. Kinda handy to have, place to maybe put your keys, put your wallet. Just like to have this right inside the door of the villa. Also in the entryway here is the lock off door. Fortunately, we were just staying in the deluxe studio side, so we didn't have access to the other side there. Now we're gonna move into the kitchen here. Not a full-size kitchen like you'd find in a full-size one bedroom. No oven and only a two burner cooktop with a tea kettle. And you also have a small sink, coffee maker, and there's some additional small appliances in the cabinets that we'll take a look at here in a moment. There is also a dishwasher, so no need to wash dishes in that small sink. Pretty good size refrigerator here with a bottom freezer. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out if there was actually an ice maker in this freezer. Just, I looked, I tried, I couldn't find it. And the refrigerator here is a menu for pizza cucina and inside the cabinets and drawers here you're gonna find some additional kitchenware and cookware there's also a toaster and blender down there in the bottom as well Now you're probably wondering where the rest of the glassware and dinnerware is. Well, it's actually in this kind of console slash island. Not really sure what you'd call it, but it is what the sofa backs up to. This is where you'll find glassware, dinnerware, cookware, pots and pans for cooking up some great meals in your villa. Located right next to the kitchen is where you'll find a dining room table for four people, nice large mirror, and lots of light from the window there. Now let's move into the living area. Just a sofa here that does pull out into a queen size sleeper sofa, a couple of footstools, and a nice chair in the corner there. You also have a nice large flat screen TV, atop a television stand, where you'll also find the phone and some additional exposed power and USB outlets. Now we're gonna move into the bedroom. You do have a king size bed here. Nice bright bedroom, lots of light, nice large window over there as well. You do have a couple of nightstands where you'll find some additional exposed USB and power outlets as well as an alarm clock. And over at the foot of the bed, another large flat screen television atop a dresser. And like I mentioned, lots of light in this bedroom because there is this nice large window. Now unfortunately, they tend to look out to the parking lot. Now you might be wondering where you'll put your clothes. Well, there is this kind of large cabinet over here 
No actual closet in here. This is where you'll find a laundry basket, in-room safe, and some additional bedding. If you're looking for the iron and ironing board, it is beside this cabinet. Now let's head in and take a look at the bathroom. Large single vanity, nice large mirror, walk-in shower here. Like I mentioned, this is an ADA accessible unit. So it is actually, in fact, a roll-in shower. And you also have in here just a small set of shelves where you'll find all of the towels and linens. <laughs> now that we've seen the inside of the villa, let's head outside. Time to check out the patio. Okay, so I've made it out here to the balcony of our deluxe studio here at Marriott's Lakeshore Reserve in Orlando, Florida. We do actually kind of have a bit of a view of the pool area, the pool and the lazy river down here behind me. I'm not sure if you can see it really well behind me here though is the JW Marriott and you might be able to hear it is John Young Parkway. So a lot of traffic noise. The unfortunate thing about these deluxe studios is they're right on the back of the buildings. We're in Messina right now and right overlooking the parking lot with the major roadway right out there. But as for the balcony, you do have a patio table, four chairs. I couldn't find an electrical outlet out here at all, but there is a ceiling fan up there above me. So are you planning a trip here to Marriott's Lakeshore Reserve or the Orlando area? Let me know all about it down in the comments below. If you have any questions about this resort, be sure to leave those down as well. We're here fairly often. I know quite a bit about this property. So be sure to ask those questions below. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help with these videos. Also to tell YouTube that you like these videos too and to push you more just like it. And if you want to see more videos all about Timeshare, check out the description box below for another video about Marriott's Lakeshore Reserve Check out this one right up here and YouTube. They think you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, the best destination is always a timeshare.